Hi. The name of this video is Blender 2.49B Radiosity Tutorial. Conventional lighting systems use lamps and cameras. The light is emitted from the lamps, bounces off the object, and then interacts with the camera to determine how the object is lit. The object is basically a passive receiver of light. Radiosity takes a different approach. No lamps are necessary, although radiosity can be used to supplement traditional lamp-based lighting. Instead, the objects themselves, or at least the ones you designate as light emitters, are the light source. They also receive light, but this time from other objects. This occurs in real life, and it's not limited to lamps. Think of lit matches, fire, glowing embers, or atomic bombs. Radiosity is a mathematical calculation of how objects that emit light interact with objects that receive light. Most objects actually do both at the same time. Radiosity rendering can produce stunning effects, but it takes getting used to. The goal of this tutorial is just to make you comfortable with the radiosity setup. Let's start by deleting the lamp. Radiosity does not need the lamp because the light comes from the materials applied to the objects. Right click on the lamp, press X to confirm and delete. Add a UV sphere to the scene with space add mesh UV sphere. We'll give the UV sphere 16 segments and 16 rings. The top half of the UV sphere will be our light source, acting somewhat like a hemi lamp with a soft hemispheric lighting effect and soft shadows. Move the UV sphere so that it is above the cube. Grab it with the G key and move it up. Scale the UV sphere five times, S5, then enter. Press Z to go into wireframe mode and tab to go into edit mode. We need to delete the bottom half. Press the A key to deselect the vertices, then box select the B key, all the bottom vertices. Press the X key to delete the selected faces on the bottom half. We're left with a hemisphere. Press F5 for the shading buttons, then click on the material button. Click Add New to add a material. Give the cube R, G, and B values each of 0.5, so the hemisphere will emit equal amounts of red, blue, and green. Click the shaders panel and set the emit value to 0 0.02. You don't really need too much. It's a small number, but the UV sphere has many faces which will generate sufficient light for the scene. We need to make sure that the normals are pointing towards the cube. Light is emitted from the face normals. Press F9 to go to the Edit buttons. In the Mesh Tools More panel, click on Draw Normals. Set the end size to 1.0. Select all the vertices by pressing the A key. Note that the normals are outside, so the light will not reach the cube. To fix this, press the W key and select Flip Normals to have the face normals point inward. Before we continue, we need to make sure radiosity is enabled in our render. Press F10 for the scene buttons, turn on radiosity, and turn off SS, ray, shadow, and env map. The entire scene will be lit by the UV sphere radiosity. Let's set the camera as well. Set the scene so that the UV sphere is providing hemispherical light to the cube, which is a bit off of the plane. Move the hemisphere up a bit out of the camera view. Move the camera in a bit toward the cube. Now we'll create a white ground plane from which the shadows will fall. Tab out of edit mode, add a plane, that's space, add mesh plane, and scale it five times. So that's S5, enter. Grab it and move it below the cube with some space between the bottom of the cube and the plane. Press the shading button, F5, and add a new material by clicking the add new button. Make the plane white by setting the R, G, and B sliders all the way to 1. We need to make sure that the normals are facing upward. Tab into Edit Mode. In the Editing Context, Mesh Tools More panel, click Draw Normals and set the normal size to 1. The normals point downward. They need to point upward. Press the W key and select Flip Normals to fix this. Tab out of Edit Mode. Select the cube with Shift F2. Click the shading button. Set the material color to 
blue. So R is 0, G is 0, and blue is 1. Tab into edit mode. We need to check the normals. From the Mesh Tools panel, More panel, click Draw Normals and set Normal Size to 1. Indeed, the normals face outside, which is fine. So let's tab out of edit mode. Now we're ready for our first radiosity render. Tab out of edit mode, press the radioactive icon for radiosity. Before we start the calculation, press the GOUR, or Gower button, which is a good choice for radiosity with shadows. Shift select the cube, the plane, and the UV sphere. That's every object in the scene except the camera. All these will participate in the radiosity calculation. In the Radio Tools panel, click the Collect Meshes button. Now we're ready for the calculation. Click the big Go button for the radiosity calculation. I'll pause the video while the radiosity calculation does its thing. See you when it's done. And press F12 to render. Next we'll add a yellow monkey to the cube. First press the Free Radio Data button to clear the radiosity calculations. We're going to recalculate the radiosity after we add the monkey. Press space, add mesh monkey. Click the shading buttons, F5. Add a yellow material by clicking the add new button and setting red to 1, green to 1, and blue to 0. Note that ambient is 0.5, which means that the monkey can receive half of the light sent to it from the UV sphere. That's also the case for the plane. Emit is zero. The monkey is only receiving light, not emitting it. Tab into edit mode. Press F9 for the edit windows and note that the face normals are pointing outward to receive the light, so we're fine. Tab into the object mode. Smooth the monkey by pressing the set smooth button and then add a subsurf modifier at level two. Press F12 to render. I'll pause the video again until it's done. This just scratches the surface. You get more realistic rendering if you work with more geometry. And you can also experiment with the different settings that influence the radiosity calculation. You may want more defined shadows and a different color mix. You can also mix radiosity with other non-lamp lighting effects, such as ambient occlusion, and of course you can add lamps. Happy blending!